morning, everybody. Good morning. It is by the grace of God. Uh, for the last two years, we come through. And this morning, we have very good news. The uh, effective rate in New York is only 2.5%. But uh, in the meantime, for safety's sake, we still uh, wear our mask. Today, we learn one of the most important lessons in the, in the Bible is prayer. We all need that every day. We need to pray to God for the glory of God and for the necessity that we need and for the protection from danger, sickness, everything. So we we'll learn the prayer Jesus taught us. Jesus taught us how to pray in here. Yeah, I got an English text from a KJV. Okay, somehow my teacher told me to uh, memorize in Chinese and English is from the KJV Bible. Uh, number one, Jesus said, Our Father who is up in heaven, hallowed be thy name. So is God the one that we call upon for our prayer. And the first thing we pray is, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy kingdom come. This is one phrase, these three words. We can skip or <clears throat> leave out today because at that time the kingdom has not yet come. <coughs> but uh, the kingdom has come starting from Acts chapter 2 verse 1. The church, this is the church of Christ. The kingdom of God and the church of Christ is the same thing, same group of people, same pattern, same way, and same constitution, the New Testament. So well, this is the kingdom come. <clears throat> the church of Christ is the kingdom of God. May thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And then we pray for ourselves. Give us this day our daily bread. That means uh, everything is fresh, I guess. We pray for the day, not for tomorrow or after that. Forgive us our debt as we forgive our debtors. And lead us, <coughs> this is for ourselves, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. This word temptation, here somehow uh, it says temptation. Actually, it means check up test. Like today, we have a perfect example, like COVID test, okay, this kind of test. Uh, see if this person is infected or not infected, is negative or positive, okay, this kind of test. Uh, test of our faith, the way we believe Jesus, the way we behave is <coughs> correct or incorrect is positive or negative in our COVID test. That's the kind of test. Not like temptation or other uh, <coughs> evil desire of the flesh. For thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Those who know Chinese, this is a different translation. But of course, you can say forever means the end of the world. You can do that. But here it says forever. That's why when I memorize the, the Lord's Prayer, I will say forever. Thy kingdom, okay? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done as it in heaven and earth, okay? Because everything, the kingdom and the authority, the power and the glory all belong to our Father in heaven, not because 
we are good enough to deserve all this blessing. Now, points of prayers. All together, I divide it into nine points. Nine points. Number one, our Father which are in heaven, and to whom do you pray? You pray to God. Like when I was a child, my mother took me to Buddha temple. They all worship those objects. But here, Jesus said, you pray to the Father in heaven. And remember, the Bible said, there's only one God in heaven. There's no other. Hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Okay, that means uh, honor, respect to the name of God. This, uh, this one, we Chinese people, Chinese culture, practice very, very well. In Chinese society, among the Chinese people, <coughs> in the old time, today, when we're in, in, when we're in America, this thing had lost. When we were, when I was growing up in Hong Kong, we respect our parents' name <coughs> very, very much. To the, we do not mention the, uh, the name of our father, okay? Children are not, <coughs> are not respectful when they say or pronounce the name of their father, okay? The name of their father is not to be pronounced or to be called upon. But when it comes to America, they split out called name, a false name. Okay? And in Western culture, they think that is a respect. <coughs> but uh, in the Chinese culture, it's ill respect. It's respect the name, honor the name of your father. Honor the name of the Father in heaven. It's the same idea. That's why we have some people specially she specialized in studying this same logic, same practice for the Bible and the Chinese culture. There's a lot resembling. Okay? But here is where the A, hello be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Okay, this one we can skip now because the kingdom has already come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In heaven, no problem, because God was there in person. When God was there in person, nobody dared to do anything that's irresponsible or against the will of God. That's why I said, Thy will be done on earth and is in heaven. And then give us this day our daily bread. Okay? Translate as bread. I think Chinese may translate into rice or daily rice. <laughs> That's just like when we go out in Hong Kong in my old time. Now you don't do that anymore. If when you see someone, your friend, in the morning, you order, like you say, 吃饭没有啊? <laughs> 在北京那边是不是这样？也看见人吃饭没有？有没有吃？因为我们年纪啊，when we were young, we ask them, "Have you eat yet? You eat rice yet?" We at the time when we when we uh, establish the tradition, we don't have many things to eat, so we concern about the first thing we concern about is something to eat, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Be us not into temptation. Here is a little bit different translation. Which you lead us. Okay? It's a little bit different. Right? <clears throat> the Holy Spirit lead Jesus into the desert to be tempted by the devil. That's the idea. Jesus did not like it so much. But Jesus had to go through because God want him to do that. Uh, that is the kind of test. That's why I say, it lead us not into testing all the time. Like today, we have a best timing. You see, now every day the government always forecasts advertising 
go get test, go get test, that kind of test. Exactly a good example. Test whether you have COVID negative or positive. Okay? And as I said this morning, we have good news in New York City, only 2.5% positive. This kind of test. Okay? So we have this sermon in the best timing right here. <coughs> And lead us not into that kind of test. So we are praying this COVID thing will pass us very soon. So we can return and be set free from COVID-19 wearing this mask. Uh, deliver us from evil. This one is not a very good translation, but I put it in Chinese. Deliver us from the devil. You have a D up there in the original text. Deliver us from the devil. D-E-V-I-L. Okay? From the devil. That's all original text. Because the devil always roaming around to see whoever they can consume or eat up. <sighs> this morning I read a uh, very interesting commentary in Chinese newspaper. I thought it's very refreshing. And here is one thing good to be in America. In America, people can do that and publish this kind of thinking or saving. But in China, other places, you may not be able to do that. Because this article published, I, I read it and and thing is very refreshing is thinking about a Western culture, Western culture, Western lifestyle philosophy is like animal practicing their rules in the jungle. But in Chinese translation, they got 丛林生活,丛林, actually means like wild animal. That's what Chongli means in a very gentle, uh, civilized, quote unquote, way. Okay? But actually, it's talking about it's a group of animals. What does that mean? And the illustration is COVID 19 had killed, K I L L E D, killed over 700,000. Why Western people let that happen? Like in America, over 700,000 people died. And this is wild animal kingdom. Right in the jungle. Those who are weak is supposed to be to feed, to feed the strong. Like uh, there's this one very interesting thing that I saw is about wild bull or cow, okay, wild bull. They roam around in the desert. When they are young, when they are in danger, like tiger, like leopard, try to chase them down and kill them and eat them. They run into deep into the desert. Where this four feeted like leopard, like, uh, like lion, tiger, they cannot run. They cannot run in a desert like that, but they can run. So they all, when the tiger coming along, try to eat them, they ran into the desert, deep into the desert, to escape and survive. But a few weak, old and weak one cannot run, cannot run away. So they have to die and feed the animal, feed the tiger, feed the wolves. They eat them. That's what they call wild animal kingdom philosophy. Uh, I think this kind of Article cannot be practiced, uh, published 
elsewhere, but in China, in America, I saw that this morning. Okay, but they say in Chinese culture, every life, even is old and useless, quote unquote, is still precious. So we try not to let COVID kill anyone. But in America, they let over 700,000 die for COVID. This is wild animal philosophy. The weak and the useless is supposed to be eaten up to feed the rich, the strong. Okay. <clears throat> and when I think about that, this is reality in reality. And they even, he, this, this, this publisher even say that in the last two or three hundred years, when Western culture country people rise up, what would they do? They roam around the world, conquer, swallow, occupy, you see? That's animal kingdom way. And that was what happened in my generation. And it's true. But in the Bible, in Chinese culture, every life is precious. Like Jesus said, if you gain the whole world but lose your soul, it does not worth it. You cannot give the whole world to exchange for your soul. Your soul, your physical life is precious. So we have to preserve all life, weak life, small life, big life, strong life. Every life is precious in the Bible. Of course, this article is not a believer. He does not know this. But he knows, like in Chinese culture, they <coughs> try to eliminate and try to protect each life away from being killed by COVID-19. Okay, that's the philosophy. That's what they think. <clears throat> and before I forget, I'd like to share this with you because it's very, very important. Children have to obey. Uh, and all of you children have to obey your parents in the Lord because this is a righteous thing to do. Disobey your parent is a sin. You go to hell for it. Okay, you'll be punished in hell forever. <clears throat> because without your parent, you cannot live. Look like in the animal kingdom, human at the time of birth is the weakest in all life. I mean, uh, life in animal life. I saw a, a short story about a lamb uh, as a goat roaming on a mountain, rocky mountain, dangerous places. This goat, this goat, a, when a mother goat is about to deliver baby, deliver baby, many times it's only one baby. When you, when the mother goat is about to deliver a little baby, she has to find a safe place. It's room, she room around to see, to see for a safe place. At least, when this baby is delivered, he has, he need to have at least a few days not to be found by any other wild animal to eat them because Little baby goat are very delicious to all wild animals. They all like to eat little firstborn little goat. <clears throat> so she had to find a place. This little, when the baby is born, delivered, she can, within a few minutes, she had to stand up. Within a few hours, she had to, the little baby had to learn to run. In a few hours, in a few days, he had to run very fast. 
That's why the mother had to find a place, not just for the baby to survive, not to be found <coughs> by wild animal, so they can continue to live. Okay? And this place had to be safe enough for the little goat to run after her because some places are too dangerous. Even if she has a few days, she cannot run through all these dangerous places. So the little goat, uh, the mother goat, had to find a suitable place in order to protect and for the little baby goat to survive. You see, even little animal had that kind of wisdom so they can have children. For thy is a kingdom and power and glory forever. Oh, I was trying to say that's why children have to obey your parents. Okay? If you have been born, the little goat, when he's born, the mother goat had to make him stand up as soon as possible. A few minutes, you have to stand up. And a few hours later, she has to run. Okay? The mother go make him run. It's very interesting. I love that kind of uh, scenery or story, okay? May thy kingdom come, okay, for the kingdom and power and glory forever. Now, we can divide into three categories. Number one, <coughs> about honor to God. Okay? Our honor go to the right place to God. Is one to four, all nine items. Okay, one to four is about honor to God. Number two is life. How should we live our life in the Church of Christ? Life in the Church of Christ. Not exactly in the world. In the world, they have no idea. <clears throat> and number nine. So we have four for honor to God. Four for our needs. One, the last one is God grant us this privilege to live on this earth. It's not because we are good enough to deserve that. It's because the reason is this is what man's life on earth is all about. A life to glorify God. Because power, kingdom, power, and honor all belong to God. Now, in our reality, point by point, our Father who is up in heaven, now in America, especially in America, who's God? Which God? What is the name? People is even to this point, even when people lay their left hand and rise, raise their right hand, lay their left hand on the Bible, and raise their right hands and swear to God. And then they can still ask, which God? Whose God? When they lay their hand on the Bible and still think about which God? Whose God? This is what we call what? Sick in the head. It's very, very clear. When you lay your left hand on the Bible, you call God to help you. May God help me. Then we have question. Who's God? Which God? What kind of God? You say all kinds of questions. Today, this is uh, reality. Especially in America. America has so many God. This is against the will of God. Okay? Mark chapter 12, 28 to 32. I have the scripture. Hallowed be thy name. A lot more like what I pointed out last time. The A become an O is a reality. Just one syllable different, one thing different. The A become an O, everything else the same. Exactly like that. This one, I just found it very interesting. In the whole world, all the people, especially Especially when they uh, when this article I f I found interesting. They said Western culture 
practice wild kingdom philosophy. The strong can eat, swallow, consume the weak. Okay? This is 300 history proof. And then they connect Western culture to what? Bible believe Jesus. And that is a very big insult. A big insult to God. Western culture is supposed to be Christian country, Christian culture, Bible philosophy. And they are thinking, okay, this one is not conveyed, this idea is not conveyed in the article because the article is not a believer. But in all the world, especially unbelieving world, like China or other places, they all think America, Western culture, are Christianity based on the Bible. Their culture is Bible culture. And then they connect to wild kingdom animal philosophy. I think that is a classic they insult to the, to us, to those who follow Jesus according to the will of God in the Bible. <clears throat> Sometimes I thought about how people become homeless. Listen to me one more time. I believe personally Anyone who grow up in the Church of Christ cannot become homeless. Impossible to become homeless. Because the way that I investigate text is starting from three years old. When this person was three, three years old, how and what they do when they study in school. If they all study in school as hard as they can, like myself, when they grow up, they will never, not one, will become homeless, especially not in America. I love, uh, when I have the test, that's how I test. I ask, when you are three years old, maybe five, start going to school to study, did you study hard? Do all you can to play, okay? And skip school. Then, when you are old, you become homeless. You deserve it. This is not wild kingdom philosophy. This is Bible philosophy. You have to work hard for your own bread. Second Thessalonians chapter 2. Those who do not work, don't let them eat. Okay, that's what the Bible says. Okay, <laughs> hallowed be thy name. A lot more like hallowed be thy name. H-O-L-L-O-D. It is also Ten Commandment number 3. Ten command number three. Call the name of God in vain. V A I N. Call the name of God in vain. Lots of people in a Western culture they call the name of God in vain. Thy kingdom come is already come, the Church of Christ. But in the world, especially in Western country people, Western culture people. Whose kingdom? What kind of kingdom? Okay? How do you rule that? Okay? They all, in the reality, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Who cares about God's will be done? What is thy will? Yeah, last week, a few days ago, I came up 
a, I thought a very good article. I especially print a few English for a few people over here. Yeah, if uh, and Barbara has one. Go to if you like to have one. Let me know. I'll pick one for you. As I quote twelve places of scripture, all the <coughs> quote unquote Christian people use this, utilize, misquote all these twelve places of scripture. These people become they themselves and those who follow them become twice dead, D A D, twice dead. And twice sons of hell. They become twice dead and twice sons of hell. Because they don't care and they don't understand why they miss even when come together to translate the Greek Bible into English Bible, even the King James, they make mistake. Week before, uh, Sunday before that Sunday, I presented 10 places of scripture, all Bible translation. Translate it wrong. And this article, I presented 12 places they misquote and misuse it. How the, why this happened? Okay, the root, R-O-T-T, -T, the root cause is, in the first place, they don't even care what is the will of God. When it comes to count money, they will not count less one cent. They especially for accountant, especially for public accountant, those who professional, a professor is accountant, they have to count one cent, otherwise they cannot balance it. They have to count even one cent. But when it comes to the Bible, they don't do that. And that is a root cause. They miss it. But I always ask why I get to find it and they miss it collectively for this so many years. Okay, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. They all miss it. All the Bible translators miss it. Why? Because they don't care the will of God. They don't care whether the will of God be done on earth or in heaven anywhere. But Jesus taught us to pray. That's why we have to pray. Okay? We have to pray all the time. Starting on, my, on ourselves. Like today, there's one thing in our reality. Joshua, in the book of Joshua, okay, towards the end, at the end, the book of Joshua, towards the end, he could say to the, all the Israelites, he could say to all the Israelites, listen, you are free to choose to worship, follow Jehovah God who lead us out of Egypt. You can choose to worship this Jehovah God. All the gods in Egypt, you can choose. If you worship Jehovah God, follow me. If you like to worship the idols in Egypt, go back. And then he said, as for me and my family, we will follow Jehovah God. When I was young, like a Cindy, I memorized this verse. Me and my family will follow Jehovah God according to the Bible. But you know what? We have retreated to a point a father cannot even say that anymore. In America, we cannot say that in America. 
a mother or father cannot say to the child, you have to come to church to the church of Christ with me. You cannot. They have free choice. Okay? They can they have a good reason. Fifteen hundred years ago, starting from Rome, Italy, the Italian people came out from the Church of Christ, disobeyed the instruction in the New Testament Bible, disregard the will of God. You cannot go or cannot do, cannot organize the Lombard Church. All their parents were in Church of Christ, but they went out. They care not the way of God. Reality. I say this for last for the last sixteen years, and it's still correct and it's getting worse. And I can say it's not my fault. I'm still preaching and shouting. We have to do the will of God. But now we have come to a day a father cannot even say to his own child. Yeah, Tommy is very blessed. His two child still here up to date in a church with him. Great blessing. And of course, Michael, Jennifer, make it here. Two child here, right? Mm. But two children all here, right? Okay? Bless it. Joshua could say it in a book of Joshua. As for me and my family, we will follow Jehovah God. And memorize it. Because I care to carry out and help other people to do the will of God in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. God has fulfilled. Whenever growing up as a little child, I don't have enough to eat. Everybody know when they read the history 18 years ago, what happened in Hong Kong and all China. A lot of them had to eat grass root. They call it famine, okay? Give us this day our daily bread. Daily bread alone. How about enjoyment? How about lust of the flesh? Today, all over. You know, today they're going to play what? Super Bowl. You know what happened? Traffic block. Traffic jam in Los Angeles. You see? People love that. I was thinking about every Sunday is traffic jam going to Church of Christ. It never happened. <clears throat> yeah, it happened uh, 20, 30 years ago, right here on this block. It happened. When our Chinese program, when our children's Chinese program ended, out there is block because we have so many children, so many parents came to pick up their children and get blocked. Sometimes when the, the police car came here to direct traffic, we did. For a while, okay? In here. But I'm talking about whole city. Every Sunday, traffic jam. Because everybody rushed to the church. It never happened. Okay, and about forgive us our debts. And we forgive our debtors who really practice it. You know, it's horrible. We even have people who organize a company. They call what? Debt chaser. Okay? We are not into temptation. I already got this time. It's the test of our faith. We pray to God. We are not into this kind of test. Jesus does not like it. Okay? Deliver us from the devil. But people determine to go with the devil. That's what I experience. I keep telling people in the church you go to, the name of that church in the Bible, they run away from me. They rush to that church. 
For thine is the kingdom and power and glory forever. Because the kingdom and power and glory belong to our Father in heaven, not because we are good enough to deserve God's blessing. Be thankful your life is hidden with Christ in God. That's why the blessing in the Church of Christ. As I said, I'm blessed to be a preacher of the gospel of Christ at the right time in Hong Kong, China, and New York City because I was respected by the grace of God, but not now. Of course, people who come here, they respect me. I appreciate that. Okay, when they cannot come, uh, sick or whatever, they text me. Okay, I got respected by the grace of God in Hong Kong, in China, and here, if especially 50, 45, 50 years ago. When I, when, they heard, when I told them, I'm from Church of Christ, this is my car, my personal car, they all listened. And <clears throat> as I preacher from the Church of Christ, after G-U-T, you can say courage not to be bullied when no one bully other people. On the street, when I see anyone get bullied, I told them, you cannot bully. I'm a preacher from the Church of Christ. And that's enough. They go. They let go. When people fight each other on the street, I told them, stop. I'm a preacher from the Church of Christ. Nobody fight here. Everybody go home. They listen. In Hong Kong, is here, right here in Russia. By the grace of God, we don't bully other people and we will not be bullied. Think about this. Then you will know this alone is enough to give God all the glory. We are free. You do not know how often and how hard it is to be suffered wrongfully. Wrongful accusation is a hard thing to swallow. That's what we Chinese culture people say. Hard to swallow. And by the grace of God, we do not have to swallow this wrongful accusation. Wrongful accusation can happen to anyone, anywhere, anytime. And by the grace of God, I'm blessed. No one can wrongfully accuse me. I used to have a recorder. Now we have iPhone. Use all, all you need is recording. Okay, stop. If you have guts, I will record what you say. Be careful, okay? I tell them, be careful what you say. I will record it. And now we can even take picture. <coughs> even Jesus himself had a time like this. He took Peter, James, and John along with him, and he began to deeply distress and trouble them. And he said what? My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Jesus got that. He had the time like that. <coughs> Conclusion now. Watch and pray so that you will not fall into a test of our faith. All this problem, even COVID-19, is a test to our faith. And by the grace of God, we pray, we pass through that. The soul is wearing, but the body is weak. Stay here, keep watch. Every day, we will keep watch. Constantly put to death, lust of the flesh. Very important. It's a constant, every day, you have to put to death the lust of your flesh. Of your flesh. If you, will, if, you, for if you live after the flesh, you will die, go to hell. But if you, through the spirit, you see the teaching, think about the teaching, mortify, kill, okay, the deeds of the body, you can live. Do not love money. Many people love money, go into much trouble. Mary is honor in all, and the bad be uh, undefiled. Fornicator or adulterer. God personally will judge them and put them in hell. 
often recite the prayer Jesus taught us so we can keep going in our salvation. Okay? Let's repeat one more time. Uh, let's see. Okay, see, I got it. Okay? <coughs> our Father in heaven. Okay? Uh, <coughs> be your name, be honor. Okay? Be, <coughs> people, I know your name. Thy kingdom come. Okay? Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Okay, you pray. Give us this day our daily bread. Okay? Lead us not into temptation. Okay? Because all the kingdom, power, glory uh, <coughs> belong to you forever. Okay? We are praying to God for our needs and for people. Thy will be done on earth is in heaven. Okay? And by the grace of God, this morning, fresh one, I said to my wife, now we are really lao kung lao po. But you, <coughs> you not lao kung lao po, this Chinese expression is not, not good. Okay? We really, oh, oh. there's no, no English for that. Okay? You ask Gordon, maybe he came up sometimes to say that, okay? We really love Gong Lao for now. For the last so many years together. And God blessed us. And may God bless all of you. Because we pray to God every day. And God granted us the peace and the life to glorify Him. <sighs> okay. Uh, 